Hey everyone, what's up? In this Adobe Lightroom tutorial, I want to talk about the details panel and how you can sharpen your images without getting too much noise in them. Of course, this not only applies to Adobe Lightroom, but also the Camera Raw Editor of Photoshop, just so you know. So for this shot, I already have done all the basic adjustments and for the final step, I just want to sharpen the image in the details tab. There are a few things to look out for and the first being when you apply sharpening to an image, you will increase the noise of an image, so just keep that in mind, especially when you are working on images that were shot on a higher ISO, because then the photo will look ugly really really fast. So once in the details tab, you have this little window which shows you a 100% preview. Right now we don't see much here, just a little bit of water, but we can change that by picking this little icon here and clicking in the image. This is a good area to take a closer look. Then let's go through all those sliders. Obviously the amount is the amount of sharpening you apply to an image. If you drop it down to zero, no sharpening at all will be applied. I usually go for around 90 because I just think it looks good. It is quite much however. Then let's zoom in and you can see if I go further up with the amount, a lot of noise will get added to the image and that's something we don't want. So as I just said, let's just go with around 90 and then continue. Now the radius slider just affects the area around edges which will get sharpened. So for example right here at this text we do have an edge and if I do turn up the radius all the way, the sharpening will affect an area 3 pixels around that edge because I turned up the radius to 3 obviously. This however is something I don't want for my images and that's because it just looks weird. I personally like to reduce the radius all the way down and thus reduce the amount of area around edges which will get sharpened and this way you just get some nicer details in my opinion. Now speaking of detail we do have an extra slider for this and this one just controls the amount of sharpening which is applied to the edges. So you can see if I turn down the detail the image is less sharp. While I drop the radius all the way for my images, I also increase the detail all the way up. And this way we can get some really really fine lines and thus increase the amount of sharpening. Now of course you can already spot a lot of noise throughout the image, but for this reason we do have the masking slider, which is a really really useful tool for the sharpening. Now first you want to hold down the alt key and click on this slider button. You can see it's pure white, that means the whole image is affected by the sharpening we just applied. If I drag up the slider, you can see there are black areas appearing and those are areas that won't get sharpened. So we basically mask them out. Now just think about what you want to sharpen in the image. You don't need sharpness in textureless areas like the sky or maybe even in the water. So when we take a look at the masking, we can see those areas are already almost blacked out, so we can increase the masking even further. I like to apply masking in a way that only the main subject and maybe some surrounding areas of the image get sharpened. Like in this case, here you can see the boat is getting sharpened, while also a little bit of the mountains in the back will get some sharpening. That's about it for this whole process. I pretty much apply the same settings on all of my images and so far I did get a lot of good results this way. So I hope this was helpful and you could learn something new today. If you have any questions left then please feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.